completely, right? Yep, just future. Johnston House, Ghost Town, Alberta again. Uh, you know Bonnie, of course. Um, I'm Kat, I was here last year. Uh, we've got Julie and Tiana with us as well. Is it either Dr. Bob or Marjorie around? So we know that you know how to work with the machinery that we've got. So all the devices still work the exact same. If you come up and touch any of the green lights, some of them will make other different lights turn on, others will turn red and make noise. Okay, so that one K2 is... The one closest to me here? Yep. It's flickering every once in a while? Yep. Okay, you've got the camera on it, so... Yeah, I do. Think you guys like Justin living in your house? You like the changes he's made? So again, if it was something power related right below us, all three, theoretically yeah. all three of these meters should be going off. Yeah. So I'm gonna all set back and the noise being scary goes under maybe. <laughs> And she gives off all sorts of weird, weird energy. Ah, <laughs> uh, she's all big and scary. Nah, not really. Like a big ball of poof. <laughs> yup. <laughs> scary. That's me. I'm poofy. <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely a word I would use to describe you, poofy. <laughs> so you like trying? We're gonna hit start. Yeah. And just so you know, I haven't com just completely wide yeah. open right now. So. Okay. Oh, right. All right. Ah, right. I'm going to end here. Yeah. Right. Okay. Wait. So is this Dr. Bob? Bob. Okay. That's the thing that's around. Dr. Bob, are you okay with uh, me being in here without Justin? Yes. Cool. Cool. Um. would not have been a term being used in 1938, no. 36, 1936. So, almost maybe it's cool, Keepa. Temperature-wise. Maybe he's just saying it's cool. It's cold. <laughs> yeah. Winter. I don't know if we're getting anything consistent at all here. I'm going to try and turn it off. And see if we can get bangs elsewhere because we are hearing the occasional. Okay, we're shutting this off now. I've heard significant knocks behind us here. So uh, it didn't sound like it was coming from the porch, it sounded like it was coming from the dining room area. Can you make a loud noise in the room where you are? That's, that's the one between Bonnie and Julie. Yeah. Hello? Do you want to communicate this way? Just let us know that you're here. You can tell 
around without paying me for it. That's the signal I keep hearing. It's been happening often enough that there's probably a non-paranormal reason for yeah. it. I don't, it almost sounds like the uh, pipes downstairs. That's hmm. what it sounds like. At least that's the way my yeah. pipe sound at home. <laughs> if that's you making that noise, can you do it right now? I need you to knock to let me know if you want us to come into the office. Well, that was pretty clear. Something in that direction, I don't know. Alright, we'll come visit you <laughs> over in that room. Oh. You're probably just reacting because Bonnie's touching it. This is your space, isn't it, Dr. Bob? I bet he's happy to have all his stuff back in one room. <laughs> I, you know, just to give it now, not only are we here without Justin, but we're all women. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I mean, he might not want, he might not us, want us, us with, yeah. with talking, especially around the, the Masonic stuff. Yeah. We'll respect your privacy if you want us to, but you have to let us know that you don't want us in here. Hey, Dr. Bob, I know we're in your space. And it's all girls, and there's no Justin. Is it okay that we're in here? You know, you can tell us to leave. You know how to use the devices in the room. All you have to do is light one up and we'll leave. We'll get out of your space. Do you want us to stay in this room, Dr. Bob? Again, you can light up any of the devices. I thought I heard a voice there. Almost sounded like something, yeah. I mean, it's still a time of day where there could be people inside, but... Yeah. I actually wondered if it was a cat meow. Mm. But yes, I heard it. Yeah. High-pitched-ish, mm. yeah. Well, my audio, definitely, your audio's here as well, so it got picked up one way or the other. If there was nothing and we all commented on it mm -hmm. and the mm -hmm. audios didn't pick it up. Yeah. That's also something, yes. Yeah. Yes. Do you actually know how to play the piano? Yeah. Well, I, I faked my sister's piano lessons for kids because they made her take piano lessons and she didn't want to, so she was supposed to be practicing in the basement. I would do it. <laughs> um. <laughs> the air conditioning, the heat just came on. I'm just making note of that because right when that happened, I got air cut through this vent. Okay. So... I don't know if it's related. But it should have hit that one too. Yeah, I, well, it depends. Because if it's something in the basement, it might not. So, and it was only when it came on. I'm just gonna try to map it. Yeah. I'm really not getting anything. <clears throat> That's a meter downstairs. Yeah. Well, to, yeah, we grabbed the one from the living room, right? So, yeah. <laughs> Alright, oh, my God. Well, and that makes sense, right? He's like, okay, yay. Yeah, bye bye. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm alone with my book now. Dr. <laughs> Bob, can you come up here and talk to us? So we, we don't know 100% if Marjorie died in the house or not, okay. but she was 14 and she had a rare blood disorder. Yeah. Um, but she shows herself as much younger. Yeah. That's the assumption anyways. Who knows? <laughs> well, 
We could be seeing a different kid altogether. I was going to say, if it is Marjorie and she's showing herself younger, she's probably showing herself from when she remembers her her happier moments. Could be. But, and we, as far as everybody calls this Marjorie's room, because this is where um, she was seen kneeling, praying. So is there anything up here with us? I put devices in the other rooms so that you can let us know if you're there too. You know, you can come up to any of the green lights and touch them and they'll make noise. They'll let us know where you are. Of us. Yeah, most of the stuff that we've caught as far as evidence up here has been stationary equipment. When, when I moved out on my own the first time, I was 15, and I had no freaking clue. Yeah. And here I am trying to set up, you know, I get my first apartment, I finally con somebody to give me an apartment for, first off, because I'm 15, totally lied my age, yeah. I'm stuck <laughs> forward, you know, and then, oh, finally you have to, what is this? Keep the lights on. I have to call somebody. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. I had no clue. Right? No, but how would you? Exactly. Yeah. That's. I made a point with Charlotte. That, uh, my kid is not going to come out at eighteen. Yeah. Again, and it just kind of it does the same kind of flow through the house. It's You're agreeing with me, Doctor Bob? <laughs> I didn't want Charlotte at eighteen moving out on her own to be clueless. So yeah. as soon as she was old enough to get the concept. When I was doing the monthly bills, we sat there, we talked about she knew how much we owed on her credit card. Yeah. She knew how much we paid for rent. Hey, Dr. Bob, do you want us to come talk to you? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Can't stop. <laughs> Dr. Bob, do you think you're funny? <laughs> so would you like us to come talk to you? Stop making it beep so that we know that you want us to come talk. Okay, let's try. Beeps can be yes, no beeping can be no. Can you do that? Is that a no? I can't do that. <laughs> okay, show me yes. Beeping means yes. Show me yes. <laughs> He's making it beep while we were talking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how many times Dr. Bob is. There's just no way. Yeah, he's going to do what he wants to do. And seriously, like he's joking around. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. But it's funny because we start, get, it, this always happens. You get on a rant about something, he gets interested. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, would you like us to come talk to you? I think maybe we should go try talking oh, yeah. to him. Try one at a time. Just say, try going in there, just one person, and see. I'm going to get this here. Yeah. Just because I, I, you know, if everything drops off, then I would say no. <laughs> okay. But, uh. Dr. Bob, I'm going to come into your office. Is that okay? Just let me know if it's okay. All right. Thank you. I almost totally expected it to just stop. I'm trying. As soon as I grab the camera. Away. <laughs> we'll see. 
Alright, so, All right. so we're in the house. carriage house. Hello, Dr. Hello, Bob. Dr. Bob. So, Dr. Bob, we were here last year. Us four and Justin. We're asking you some questions. Asking you questions about your accident. Absolutely zero disrespect to you. We just want to communicate with you. Can you please come and touch one of the green button, uh, green lights? Let us know that you're here. So it was 84 years ago last weekend, or weekend before last that he passed. Do you want us to turn on the talking device? If you do, you need to let us know. Bang on something. Do we want to try turning on the talking device just sure. because? Yep. And if you don't want us in here, Dr. Bob, this is your chance to let us know. Just want to respect you. You can tell us to leave and we will. Right. He's doing the very quiet talking. Do you remember what you did last year? Turn the EMF detector off. Wait. You were ready, you were getting ready to go booze hunting. When your accident happened, right? No. Is Dr. Bob even here? Were you going out goose hunting? Please talk to us. Get out. Get out. Mm -hmm. Would you like us to leave? If you would like us to leave, I need you to light up one of the green lights, please. Turn it red. <laughs> Dr. Bob, it's Bonnie here. If you don't want us to be in here, can you just say the word leave and we'll go? I don't want to intrude on your space or make you sad. <laughs> Dr. Bob doesn't want, want us in here tonight. He doesn't want to directly interact, yeah. I don't think. And that's that's kind of the feeling I'm getting to, is that he doesn't want to directly interact.